In the last video, you saw what changes that we needed to make uh, to our Azure AD app that could be used with a bot um, and how we had to register a bot with the bot framework and configure it for SSO. So now it's time for us to create our project. So from the command prompt, I'm going to create a new folder, learn MS Teams SSO ta uh, bot, and then I'm going to move into that folder. So then I'm going to start the process by calling Yo Teams. So I'm going to choose a lot of the default options here, like the solution name, where we want to put it, the title, the company, the manifest version, quick scaffolding. And then I'm going to unselect the tab and instead choose a bot. And then uh, it's going to ask us where do you want to host it. This doesn't matter. We don't care about the loading indicator. Now it's then going to ask us what type of a bot do you want to use. And while we would normally create a new bot, the bot template inside of the current version of uh, Yeoman, uh, the Yeoman generator for Microsoft Teams uh, at the time of this recording doesn't have support for SSO. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to say it's an already existing and running bot that's not hosted in the solution, and we're going to manually add it. Now it's going to ask us what the ID is for the bot that we have at the um, on the portal. So the ID for the bot, I'm going to go ahead and select the ID or enter the ID in for the app. Um, it's asking us, do we want to add a static tab? I'll just choose the default. The, what is the title of our bot? I'll just call it SSO bot. Um, and I'm just going to choose a lot of the other defaults of just putting no in there for those different options. Now, the Yeoman generator is then going to create the folders and the files necessary uh, for our bot. Uh, and then it's going to run npm install to download and install all of the dependencies. Now, our bot's going to need a few more dependencies to be installed in the project, so let's take care of that now. Um, I'm going to execute two commands. The first command here is going to install the Microsoft Team or Microsoft Graph uh, JavaScript SDK, uh, and then it's also going to install the isomorphic fetch, which is a way for us to do requests. Uh, it's a dependency that Graph needs, um, and the uh, JWT decode uh, package, which we can use to um, parse the ID tokens that we get back from Microsoft uh, Azure AD. And then I'm also going to install the um, type declarations for the Microsoft Graph uh, JavaScript SDK. Now, I'm going to go ahead and launch our, our uh, app inside of VS Code. And we need to make a couple little changes to this right when we get started. So in the environment variable, um, you notice here that I have an app ID and a password. So that is the ID for our Azure AD app that we associated with our bot. So now we also need to set the password for it as well. So we have that in this other string that I'll go ahead and fetch and I'll store that right here. Um, I also need to add a new variable name uh, to our app. So what I'm gonna do is uh, the, right after uh, that, the one that we have for the bot framework, I'm gonna create one called the SSO connection name. And this is going to be the bot framework connection name for the OAuth connection that we created um, that we'll use uh, in our, our bot API. And I'm also going to set the subdomain for ngrok uh, to the one that I have reserved for my licensed copy of ngrok. Again, this is not required. Um, if you use the free version of ngrok, every time you restart ngrok, the URL is going to change or the subdomain changes every time. So you just need to remember that and go in and update all the places where you are using the ngrok URL, like in the bot registration, the endpoint, um, the Azure AD endpoints, et cetera. I just need to make sure you keep it, uh, you update all of those accordingly. Now the next step is to add the bot to the Teams app manifest uh, to register your bot. So what I'm gonna do is come, uh, we can get rid of this VS Code instance now that we have everything saved in our environment variables. What I'm gonna do is inside of the app manifest for our project, we have a bot uh, reference that you see listed right here. Um, we've got, it's a notify selectors true, notifications only, that's fine. Um, and then we have scopes as well. Now bots that use SSO must be authenticated only in the personal scope so that you can, I can remove the team scope and the group chat scope because we're not gonna be able to use those in this collection. I need to do that not only for the bot itself, but I also need to do it in the command list as well so that only personal uh, is going to be listed. 
Now, I also need to find on the valid domains section that we see down here, I need to add in another entry to this for token.botframework.com. And then the last step that I need to do is I need to add in one more uh, entry here for the web application info, because what this is, is this is what uh, Microsoft Teams uses for SSO support. So there's two properties we need to add, the ID property, and the other one is the uh, resource property. So the resource property is the app, the API, the Azure AD ID URI. So it's the app ID colon slash slash bot ID dash and whatever the GUID is of the app. And we have that inside of our environment variable. So I can actually grab this value for the app ID and I'm gonna stick that uh, right here uh, for both of these values and let that get dynamically set. So at this point, the project is now configured and I can start coding up the bot. 